dear students welcome to part 2 of lecture series on group discussion in the last lecture as we discussed what is group discussion how is it conducted what is the basic setup of group discussion what is kind of meetings that are involved in a group discussion we learn how it is an important skill and it requires certain amount of training in this session today let's look at the advantages of group discussion we know about it that there is an enormous amount of information and knowledge in every field activities have become very complex and it is difficult for one person to handle the task which has several aspects so discussion allows you permits you to have multiple point of views it enables your organization to benefit from the expertise of specialists specifically for example you can consider it in technology law taxation personal and other point of views that could be accumulated so being involved in a group activity a discussion also provides you social and emotional support system uh, as a participant if in case you have your employees who have a chance to contribute and take part in decision you know they would eventually be more loyal to your firm the next is that uh, discussing the ideas and problems in a meeting will help you work in a democratic way it also will show respect for individuals and their opinion and views the last point which is significant here is as the technology develops it will be easier for everyone to have access to information within an organization so it will be advantageous for managers to keep in touch with members of the organization to have an open discussion on various concerns let's also look at benefits of group discussion it provides chance to expose language skills are put at best at use academic knowledge is increased and showcased leadership skills are developed people handling skills also is essential because how do you manage to put forth your point of view how do you as a leader emerge and put assert your point effectively team work is reflected and general knowledge is tested within a group discussion at the same time there are certain disadvantages as well both in formal and informal meetings so uh, we can find that it could be time consuming and expensive a great deal of money and time has to be spent on making preparations and on actual conduct of a meeting a meeting may end without any useful conclusion sometimes and if there is much disagreement among participants it becomes problematic the third point is that uh, there may not be any useful outcome several people take meetings lightly and attend without any preparation just for the sake of spending some time away from their workplace the last point includes that if the chairperson is not skilled in conducting the meeting there may be a great deal of useless talk from the chair which might lead to frustration in other participants and um they might not get an opportunity to respond or to express their views now let's look at certain guidelines to have effective participation in a group discussion you should develop and sharpen your speaking and interpersonal skills clear thinking good expression and other verbal and nonverbal skills are important for a group discussion you should prepare yourself and have a thorough understanding of subject on which you are asked to speak since the topic of subject or discussion is unknown what you could do is you could familiarize yourself with most important topics under current affairs or this can be done by reading daily newspaper magazines watching news and discussions on tv third point is that you could learn how to analyze the subject how to argue your case how to put it forth while adhering to the time limit that's very important a group discussion requires cooperation and coordination on uh, from the participant who are expected to work as a team so any kind of hostile attitude by any one of the participant is against the spirit of cooperation and would eventually hamper effective discussion therefore every participant has to subordinate 
his ego to a larger objective of working together and completing the discussion within the specified time the next point is when you are participating in group discussion you should carry a pen and paper unless asked otherwise it's better to think through the main issues in the topic of discussion before you start speaking next unless you are fully prepared on the topic allow someone else to start the discussion one can get notice even when one is not the first person to speak the next point is you have to be listening every argument carefully or whatever other participants are saying you may quote others while supporting and criticizing them next point that there is more than one way of entering the discussion you may begin by appreciating a point made earlier or you may express disagreement with someone's argument you have to while doing all of this you have to maintain your cool while speaking losing temper will not yield the best result therefore be normal and talk as naturally as possible there should be free flow of ideas in the group discussion all the participants are keen to speak and there is likely to be chaos in the group discussion but speaking in turn is not desirable as it hampers a natural discussion the last point is you should summarize the discussion at the end by restating your view as well as dissenting views do not force your consensus on the others now i shall leave you with certain tips for improving group discussion skills we know about it that group discussion is used as a mirror to reflect the educational cultural and psychological background of the candidate which cannot be changed overnight but it requires a well planned strategy that can help you perform better in gd and interview to excel in gd good knowledge base is must and awareness about the current affairs social environmental political economical and technological issues will reflect a well rounded personality being aware of these issues is not enough you should also have thorough knowledge on these issues to form your own opinion to argue or support the cause these skills can be enhanced through regular reading of newspaper magazines books both fiction and non fiction watch good television programs read online articles some practice sessions can also help you improve the group discussion by participation and observation you can develop your own style regular review of the performance can help the candidate to improve not only the content of what you speak but also your diction so in gd you must remember that how you speak is equally important as to what you speak i hope you shall be able to improve your performance in the next group discussion and prosper in almost every possible gd that you perform by coming up with flying colors by giving your best performance thank you